Hello and welcome to the channel. In the previous videos, we have seen how to access Central's REST API through the API Gateway and build Ansible playbooks using the Aruba Central Ansible role. My name is Jay Patak and in this video, I will talk about webhook and alerts on Aruba Central and how to configure them to build a notification or event triggered workflow. First, we will see what webhooks are and then move into configuring webhooks on Aruba Central. Following which, we will see different types of alerts Central has to offer and how to configure them. Once webhooks and alerts are configured, we will see how to test them in order to receive notifications. Then, I will show you some resources where you can find more information regarding these webhooks and alerts. And then finally, I will show you how all of these come together to create a workflow. So, let's dive right into it and get started. Webhooks are used by applications to send automated messages to other applications when an event occurs. They can be described as automated event or alert notifications sent to an application or a web URL. Let us compare webhooks with a RESTful API. RESTful API are mainly used to pull data from an application where an application or a user needs to ask or pull each time information is needed. An appropriate response is sent as a result of this polling request. Webhooks, on the other hand, provides information without requesting. An application usually sends data or payload automatically to a unique web URL when an event occurs. These are like notifications that one receives over email. For example, when you sign up for a service and receive a welcome note on your email. The events that can trigger a webhook notification can be pre-configured. This way, a system knows when to send a notification for occurrence of a particular event. Let us now see how we can configure webhooks on Aruba Central. Communication between Central and webhook server is secured using Transport Layer Security, also known as TLS 1.3. Hash-based message authentication code, also known as HMAC, is used to verify the authenticity and integrity of notifications sent by Central. Moreover, you can configure up to 10 webhooks to your Central account and you can provide up to 3 web URLs for a single webhook. Central will use these URLs to send notifications for configured alerts. For example, consider a scenario where you would have a backup server and would like to receive webhook notifications on both servers. That is where multiple URLs can be configured for a particular webhook. Conversely, if you want to group certain type of alerts or if you are an MSP who would like to group alerts on a per tenant basis, then you can configure multiple webhooks with their own respective web URLs. It's a simple process to add a webhook URL to your central account. Log in to your central account and follow the steps as mentioned. First, go to Central's account home that displays various services Central provides by clicking on this icon. Once on the account home, click on webhooks. Next, we need to click here to add a new webhook. Provide a name for the webhook, set its retry policy and add a unique web URL. This URL is of the web server you have configured to catch these webhook notifications. Once added, you will find your webhook in this table. Let us now see how to configure various alerts that Central offers. If you are on your account home, click on Launch Network Operations. This will open the dashboard view. Now, go to Alerts and Events. Click on the Config icon on the top right of your screen. Here, you can see various categories of alerts for users, devices, connectivity and more. Let us select an alert and configure it for our previously created webhook. Select the severity for this alert and choose the webhook. Click on save and then OK to add the webhook. Once you add the webhook, whenever this event occurs, a notification will be sent in the form of an HTTP request to the webhook URL provided. Note that this is just a dummy webhook. You will need to provide a valid URL in your webhook that can receive this kind of notification. It can be a web server with a public IP, 
or a webhook related tool such as Zapier. So far, we have seen where to add webhook and how to configure alerts on Central. Let us now test a webhook and build a workflow to see how all of these comes together. There are various tools available that you can use to catch webhook messages such as Zapier, Request Bin, Webhook.site to name a few. You can also create your own web server where Central can send an HTTP POST request with the webhook payload. All the information that we have talked about so far can also be obtained through the Aruba Developer Hub. Here, you can simply click on Central and go to the webhooks section of this page. Once you are under webhooks, you will find all the information related to how the configuration works, how the authentication works, as well as you will find a host of different types of alerts listed here. You will also see the JSON payload that you will get along with each of these alerts. You can simply click on the alert type. We have a bunch of alerts listed here. You can go to a particular alert and then check out its JSON payload, what will be the information that you would be receiving. This can help while you are building a workflow to see if you want to take certain action based on the type of alert received. For testing a webhook, I simply did a Google search testing webhook with webhook site. This brings me to the webhook.site homepage. Once I am here, I am presented with a unique URL that I can use as my web URL for the webhook. So let me take this URL and go to Central's account and add it as a new webhook. I'll go on my account home first and then click on webhooks. Now I will add my new webhook and I will give it a name for example I would give it demo webhook and then I have a retry policy and for the URL I will paste the URL provided to me by webhook.site. Once this is added I need to add this webhook to my alerts so I go back to my network operations page, go to Central's alerts and events tab, and then configure a particular alert for this webhook. Select your demo webhook. And now if I click on save, this webhook has been added. So now whenever I will do a user account edit or change any of my user accounts, I will receive an alert over my webhook.site homepage. So it will show up here. Let us go ahead and create this change on our users. So I'll take one of the users which you can see as a read write user. Now I will change this read write user to an admin. So once I change the permission of this user, I will see that a new alert has been generated and I receive that alert on my webhook.site homepage. So making it as an admin. So you see that now this user has changed the user role. And if I go and check my webhook.site homepage, I see that I have received new webhook alert and the webhook alert is of type user account edited which we just created or configured. And we see that it has given me all the details as to which user was modified. Now in case if you want to build a workflow out of this, you would take this information and turn it into an action. So for example, if I have received a read-only user has been changed to an admin, I should make an API call to change this back to a read-only user. So this is how you can create an end-to-end -end workflow. You can also create an alert for your device disconnections and once a device disconnects, you can file a ticket directly to any of your ticketing systems. This is how you can integrate multiple tools and multiple services to get relevant information instantly. This brings us to the end of this video. In this video, we saw what are webhooks. We also saw how to configure them on Aruba Central as well as configure various alerts that Central offers. Then we saw a bunch of tools that you can use to play around with webhooks. We saw the documentation on Aruba Developer Hub as well as a quick demo showing how to use different alerts and build a workflow out of it. Thank you for watching the video. In the next video, you will see how to configure webhooks using different APIs available as well as see a quick demo of an integration with ServiceNow.